What in the world is wrong with saying 73? What's wrong with QSL? Let's talk about it. I'm telling you what, some people in the ham radio community, especially on social media, like to bring up stinks over the stupidest nonsense. So today we're going to talk about 73 and Q codes. Where's their origin? Are they appropriate to use on the radio? But before we get into it, go check out the Ham Shack TV store, hamshacktv.com. Go check it out. We've got everything you could possibly need in there. And if I don't have it, let me know and I'll get it in there. So guys, I want to share a uh, post that I saw on Facebook earlier. This is the Facebook ham radio group. And there's several uh, ham radio groups. But I'll make this big real quick so you can see it. Uh, the one that has this radio in it, that's the correct one. It has 246,000 members in it. But uh, the article is from uh, Shane. Well, it looks like two different people had it. Uh, John Penitany, AI9D, as well as Shane L. Nelson. Uh, and no disrespect to you guys. No disrespect. I just want to bring this up. I don't know why this is a problem. But uh, let's. Uh, the original post said, can we stop saying 7-3? Uh, am I the only one that finds this annoying? Yes, you are. Uh, Shane wonders why his post was removed, but he was unable to respond to JP's wide words. 73, as well as Q codes, are meant to be used for brevity during conversations on CW using Morse code. We're foolishly misusing these codes during phone transmission. So that's my first question to you. Why, who's to say that it's appropriate or not appropriate? If it, you're saying the FCC, FCC don't give a crap. If you're saying the AWRL, maybe there's some precedent there. I don't know. Uh, but let's look at some of the comments here because the comments are just ripping this apart. 180 comments on this particular post. Uh, RS Grove says 10-4. Oh, does that bother you? Just a reminder, this is a hobby, 7-3. And to a lot of people, I will say this. A lot of people, 10-4 does bother them. Um, doesn't really bother me. It's not particularly appropriate if i hear it on the radio i don't really care uh if i hear it being overused i'm more apt to say something about it i know uh i monitor uh for a repeater owner that's a friend of mine and he doesn't want it on his airwaves so if i hear it overwhelmingly yeah i'll get in there and say something about 10-4 but not a huge deal to me uh david says doesn't matter don't like it don't use it but i stand with tradition tradition that's something to be said about that Robert says, imagine being upset at someone wishing you well. Let's talk about that. 7-3. What does 7-3 mean? Well, it means best regard. I'm saying have a good day. Are you offended? Think about that, guys. Uh, Felipe, uh, Felipe says 73, like it or not. Uh, Rick Weiser says, uh, amateur radio signifies an end to the Morse code con uh, conversation. 700,000 hams use 73 at the end of voice conversation. Don't use it if you don't want to. Personally, I don't care, uh, if someone uses it or not. Doesn't change the conversation either way. Don, AE5DW says, tradition, absolutely. Phil says, I'm okay with it. 73, G1AAK. Michael Cole says, people were saying 73 and using Q codes long before I was ever born. And I've been using, or I've been a ham for almost 50 years now. How about if you just let people have fun and enjoy the hobby? Uh, Kenneth says, we don't care what you like and don't like. Put your big girl panties on and carry on. Guys, I, that's what I'm getting at. Who gives anybody the right to come into amateur radio and make the rules except for the FCC? If you don't like it, there's a VFO knob. If you don't like it, there's a volume knob. Use it. I'm sick of this nonsense. Just stupid complaints. So let's uh, let's get back into it. I want to give you a little bit of an overview here. Uh, what is 73? Uh, 73 is, if you've been on ham radio, you've likely heard 73 and it's the end of a QSO. 
it universally is known to mean best regards. But where did it come from? 7-3 originated in early telegraph days, back in the 1850s. It was part of a system developed by Western Union to speed up telegraph transmissions. Originally, 73 actually meant my love to you. Yeah, imagine that on the handbands today. But by the late 19th century, it had evolved into best regards, which we still use today. How about Q codes? Have you heard QSL? That's probably the one you've heard the most. Uh, they were first developed for maritime radio back in the 1900s when ships needed a way to communicate efficiently across different languages. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, they were later adopted by amateur radio operators and are now a staple of CW and voice communications. Some of the common Q codes we still use today are QTH, which is what is your location or my location is, QRM, better known as QRM, around my neck of the woods, that means interference, QRZ, we all know QRZ, right? Who is calling me? QSY means you're going to change frequency. QSL is equal to 104. it's just an acknowledgement. <coughs> <clears throat> Pardon me. And finally, QRV is are you ready or I am ready. Even though we mostly use voice communications today, these Q codes are still widely understood by hams all around the world. And they make for a quick and efficient exchange. Are Q codes still relevant? Absolutely. They remain uh, especially useful in digital and CW modes where brevity is key. Even voice Q so is, uh, hams use Q codes casually, like I'm going to Q, QSY to 14.250, or QRM is heavy today. So whether you're on single sideband CW or even digital modes like FT8, knowing a few Q codes can help you communicate faster and more efficiently. So now to you. The next time someone signs off with 73, you'll, rem you'll remember that it's a phrase with over a half century of history. Let me know in the comments, what's your favorite Q card or Q code, and do you use them regularly? Guys, don't forget to like and uh, share and subscribe uh, for more ham radio content. Don't forget to check out the Ham Shack TV store, hamshacktv.com. We've got Icom, Yesu, Kenwood, uh, TYT, Balfang, all kinds of different radios and uh, different equipment in there. Go check it out, hamshacktv.com. Also, guys, if you want to join the conversation, don't forget to join the Ham Shack TV Discord. You'll see a link down in the description down below. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Seven threes, and I mean that. Seven threes to everybody watching. AA4WX, WSCB 693.